viewers welcome to the series on business economics today we will be discussing about factor pricing before talking about factor pricing let us talk about factors of production factors of production means inputs that are used in the production of goods or services in the attempt to make an economic profit the factors of production include land labor capital and entrepreneurship factors of production can be divided into two parts specific factors of production and non specific factors of production when we talk about specific factors of production these are those factors which are used for a particular purpose for example railway engine are used to run railways on the other hand when we talk about non specific factors these are those factors which can be used for any purpose for example land land can be used for the production of food grains cash crops for construction of buildings dams for the mining purpose etc therefore we can say that land is not specifically used for a particular purpose that is why they are considered as non specific factors when we talk about economics it generally includes non specific factors the prices or the reward earned against factor is known as factor pricing that means prices paid by the producer for the use of factors is known as factor pricing reward against non specific factors can be land against land a producer or the owner of the land gains rent when we talk about labor a person earns wages against labor in the case of capital or the money used by the producer he pays interest for the use of capital and when he uses his skill or ability to cover risk it is known as entrepreneurship and against entrepreneurship he is able to earn profit therefore we can say that there are four types of non specific factors land labor capital and entrepreneurship and rent wages interest and profits act as a prices for all these non specific factors in today's session we will be talking about rent till the end of this session you will be able to understand the meaning of rent various types of rent and theory of rent when we talk about theory of rent we will be discussing about ricardian theory of rent first of all let us talk about the meaning of rent for a common man rent means that amount which is paid to the land owner and land owner or house owner for the use of the land but in economics rent is the payment made for the use of free gift of nature free gift of nature includes land sunlight sea gems metals etc which are provided by the nature without charging any cost according to david ricardo rent is that portion of the produce of the earth produce of the earth here means production which a person is obtaining from the earth which is paid to the landlord that means owner of the land for the use of the original and indestructible power of the soil that means rent is that portion of the produce of the earth which is paid to the landlord for the use of the land on the basis of this definition rent can be divided into five parts total rent economic rent situation rent scarcity rent or contract rent let us talk about each of them one by one total rent is the amount paid by a farmer or a tenant to the owner of the land is known as rent we can obtain total rent by adding interest on capital invested on land profit for risk undertaken by the landlord 
wages or remuneration to land owner for his efforts in economic rent by adding up all these types of income we can obtain total rent on the other hand when we talk about economic rent it is the part of total rent paid to the landlord for the use of the land it can be obtained by deducting cost of production from total income when we talk about total income it means that income which is obtained by the owner by agricultural sector on the other hand when we talk about cost of production it includes normal earning normal earning means minimum earning which a person wants to earn while engaging in the activity contract rent on the other hand means mutual agreement or contract for use of land it is between the land owner and the farmer it may be less than equal to or more than economic rent situation rent arises due to difference in the situation of land difference in situation of land means distance or the development of the land if the land is situated near to the market in that case that field or that farmer will going to earn more rent for example if a house is situated in developed area the rent of that house will be higher than the rent of that house which is situated in under developed area scarcity rent when rent arises due to scarce supply of the factors comparison to the demand in that case we called it as a scarcity rent we can also say that whenever supply is less than demand the rent arises and that type of rent is known as scarcity rent after discussing about various types of rent let us talk about theories of rent theories of rent can be classical theory of rent or modern theory of rent in today's session we will be discussing about classical theory of rent classical theory of rent was propounded by david ricardo in 19th century he was a great british economist according to him rent is that portion of the produce of the earth which is paid to the landlord for the use of the original and indestructible power of the soil as we have discussed earlier from this definition we can conclude that land possesses some original and permanent properties rent is paid for the use of land only before talking about the theory let us see certain assumptions made by the ricardo according to him land possesses original and indestructible power that means land is not perishable the power of the land is indestructible rent is earned for the use of land only that means other factors cannot earn rent according to ricardo land is cultivated in descending order of fertility it means the most fertile land will be used first and less fertile land will be used last the agriculture is subject to the operation of law of diminishing returns it means that in agricultural sector law of diminishing returns apply that means as the factors of production increases the output or the produce decreases with the increase in factors of production it applies in long run only marginal land or no rent land exists that means there will be a type of land which will not going to earn any kind of rent supply of land is inelastic that means supply of land cannot be increased with the increase in demand perfect competition prevails in the market perfect competition means the prices will be determined by the market forces an individual firm cannot determine the prices 
land is used specially for the production of food grains demand of food grain increases with the increase in population that means as the population will increase demand for the food grain will also increase on the basis of these assumptions david ricardo has given his theory according to his theory he has explained that rent is the reward for the use of land and it arises due to three main reasons extensive cultivation intensive cultivation difference in situation we will going to discuss each of them one by one first of all let us talk about extensive cultivation extensive cultivation means cultivation in larger land area to increase the agricultural output to meet the increased demand to explain this type of cultivation david ricardo has assumed a situation of island on which nobody is living when the first person reaches that island he will going to select the best land or the fertile land for the production purpose as the population increases the demand for the food grain will increase and this will going to motivate the person to produce on other pieces of land which will be less fertile land the situation will be more clear with the help of a table here as you can see there are four types of land land a b c and d land a is the most fertile land on which the first time production purpose is carried on the other hand land d is the least fertile land on which production activity will be carried at last because there is difference in the fertility of land the producer will obtain 100 quintals of production by performing production activity on the land a on the other hand when he perform the production activity on land b he will going to obtain only 40 quintals of wheat by deducting the production of marginal land from other land a person will obtain the rent that is 60 which is obtained by deducting 40 that was the produce of the marginal land from the most fertile land that is a so when we deduct 40 from 100 we get 60 that will be the surplus for the producer producing on the a that is most fertile piece of land so we can say that rent means output minus production of marginal land under extensive cultivation the situation will be more clear with the help of a diagram here each bar is showing the production of each land op is the production of marginal land that is d the the area above op shows the rent for each land for a rent is shown by green color for b rent is shown by blue color and for c rent is shown by green color that means this whole area is rent the land which earn rent is known as intra marginal land and the land which does not earn rent is known as marginal land from this it is clear that in the case of extensive cultivation a person or a producer will earn rent due to difference in fertility of land now let us talk about intensive cultivation intensive cultivation means efforts to increase agricultural production by increasing the use of labor modern techniques of cultivation and machinery on the available land the situation of intensive cultivation will be more clear with the help of a table here a b c and d shows the time a person is producing on the same land in the case of extensive land production activity was carried on different land 
but in the case of intensive cultivation production activity is carried on the same land therefore here he is producing on the same land different times a b c d denotes the production time for the producer for the first time when a person produces on the land he does not have to put extra efforts or the cost of production is least therefore in this case we can see that revenue earned by the producer is same every time but cost increases with the increase in production time for the first time the cost remains 40 second time it increases and becomes 60 third time it becomes 80 and last it becomes 100 when the cost is equal to revenue the producer will stop the production activity in the case of intensive cultivation rent is the difference of revenue and cost when we deduct cost from revenue we will going to obtain rent as you can see in the case of a when we deduct 40 from 100 we obtain 60 which is rent the situation will be more clear with the help of a diagram here oq quantity is produced for the first time when first time a producer is producing the cost of production required is very less the difference between cost and revenue is maximum therefore maximum profit or maximum rent is earned by the producer that is p e t c when the producer produces on the same land for the second time cost of production increases because more labor or more fertilizers will be required to obtain the same quantity of output in this time as cost increases the amount of rent will reduce and it will be p e t c when the production activity is carried on the same land for the third time the cost becomes equal to the revenue at this time the producer will not going to earn rent let us talk about situational rent this type of rent arises due to difference in the location of fields fields which are located near to the market earn rent in comparison to the fields situated away from the land here in this diagram as you can see a b c and d shows various fields of land 1 km means the distance of the field from the market as you can see a is situated near to the market d is situated far away from the market because the distance of d is 7 km the transportation cost paid by each farmer is rupees 10 per kilometer therefore for the firm a the cost of transportation will be rupees 10 for b the transportation cost will be 30 rupees for c it will be 50 rupees and for d it will be 70 rupees being transportation cost is maximum for d it will be added in the prices of the product therefore cost of transportation added to the price is rupees 70 as the cost of transportation for a is only rupees 10 he will going to earn 60 rupees extra from d this will going to act as rent for a in this way a will earn rent as 60 rupees c will earn 20 rupees as rent b will earn 40 rupees as rent and d will not going to earn any rent with this we come to the end of our lecture with this we come to the end of our lecture in today's lecture we have talked about various types of factors of 
production like land, labor, capital and entrepreneur. We have also talked about their rewards like rent, wages, profits and interest. We have talked about rent in detail in our session. In today's session, we have also discussed how rent arises under the theory of rent. According to Ricardo, rent arises due to three reasons. First, difference in fertility of land. Second, application of law of diminishing returns. And lastly, due to difference in situation. This situation was explained with the help of extensive cultivation, intensive cultivation and situational rent. Thank you.